High school's league play is starting to get intense. St. John's with a test at Start. Jeff Copeland facing his former mate. Start does have Mo Taylor. He can jump. Spartans within a point. UT coach Tim Beckman in the house, probably watching a future football rocket. Cheetah Norrells, who's also good at basketball. St. John's pulled away in the fourth quarter. It'd be Copeland with 13 points, getting the dish inside for two. And then we cap it off with a little loving. Mark Loving, the future Buckeye with a sweet scoop shot. He had 22 points. St. John's swats away start, 69 to 53. Well, to a battle of private schools, Central and St. Francis. Knights fans, wild and crazy. I like that. Nate White inside for two. And then later on, it'll be for Central. Trent Morrissey from the outside. More Central Catholic, Jay Marquette, thinks about it, then he takes it himself. Good choice for him. Central wins it, 60 to 24. Meanwhile, Whitmer hosting Scott. Chris Wormley, good at football, also pretty good at basketball. Grabs his own miss and puts it back in for two. Nigel Hayes, he had a good night off the miss. Just like Wormley, the offensive rebound, he puts it in from inside. And more Hayes again from the inside. Gets the step and the foul and the bucket. Whitmer wins. Final score, 68-59. to 59. As for Rodgers, the Rams hosted Lorraine-based Arts Academy. Rodgers is just so quick. Darren Tucker gets behind the defense. We call that wide open. We also call that a bucket. Then, off a of miss, Tucker. Doing some sharing, ripping the ball to Clemmy Owens. He's pretty good too. Nice shot there. Then Owens, he's going to get some more highlight love later on. This time from Damon Powell. Rogers wins big, 105 to 36. More City League. Bowser and Wait. This was a good one. Third quarter. Keyshawn Harris for three. Wait up 11 points, 41 to 30. But Bowser made a push in the fourth quarter. Under two minutes to go. Robert Davis ties the game with a three. It's 60 all. So it goes to OT. Took a while for somebody to make a shot, but that somebody off a of steal was Milan Mabry. His three point play, the old fashioned way, gives Bowser a four point lead. The Indians don't get a buck in overtime. Bowser comes back for the 69 61 win. Attack, attack with some Christian action. Toledo Christian, Emmanuel Christian doing battle in the frozen tundra. No, that was outside. How about inside now? Third quarter, inside bucket. Caleb Smith for EC gets the hoop. 25-19, TC in the lead later in the third. Toledo Christian, Zach Broombaugh. This guy's a player on the football field too. 33-19, Eagles. Then it's Dominique Pittman with the hoop and one. Big fan of the haircut. That's old school. 60 to 30, TC wins. Well, to the ladies and the always big time Northview Southview rivalry. Third quarter is tied at 19. Jessica Jessing. She's going to grab the miss, put it back in. Wildcats up two. Southview trying to claw back. Get it? They're the Cougars. Lexi Lopez, the head fake, drives the lane for two. 25 23. Northview still leading late in the third. Cats up three. Jessing, the cross court pass to Caitlin McCoy. She scores. Final score, Northview wins by 10, 40 to 30. By the way, Southeast Nard Pinckney will be playing his college football over at Fordham. And that's your Hardcore Sports. We'll be right back.